Brush Patrols or Type 6 engines are smaller, lighter weight vehicles, usually on a utility or some type of a smaller engine. They have about half the water that a Type 3 engine does, and they have two members on them, and we use less of them because they're a roving patrol. They drive the areas and they look and monitor uh, the lines. The uh, overall objective of the fire is to get perimeter line all the way around the fire and make sure that we have a secure edge and for this particular fire that we have a secure edge 300 feet from any growth. And once that's met, then we transition into what we call patrol status, where because of the amount of work that it takes to put the hose lay in, which in this case is over 40,000 feet of hose, it would be prudent for us to give it a minute, see what it's gonna do, because during the course of the day, we have these little smokers pop up. If everything stays away from the active edge, so during that period of time, we're in patrol status, just making sure that the active edge is secure. And then we transition in the back hall and begin to pull the hose line out. So we'll scale back from suppression to patrol status with about half or a third of the resources required during a firefight, during suppression status, staffed with half the people on them. As you can see, we still do have interior smokes. So we're monitoring the interior smokes, making sure there are no threat to the line. Uh, once we're comfortable with no heat near the line and we validate that with IR products uh, from Firus, we've been using Firus and drones to validate the edge to make sure there's nothing outside of the edge. And then after that, we'll transition into backhaul phase where we have people actively patrolling the problem areas. And uh, right now, the only problem area that we continue to have is in Division Zulu right in about the area we're standing. So we have people patrolling along this area, looking, and sometimes during the daytime, they'll patrol along the actual perimeter's edge.